I'm the Magpie. And I'm Jack. And this is Mondays with Magpie. Hi, so today we are going to can tomatoes. Yeah, put them in a can. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> well, and, and on that note, I have a joke okay. that I remembered from a long time ago. Right. And I'll be about, the straight man. Yes, it was, uh, an Englishman was visiting um, a tomato farm in New Jersey. And uh, he said, oh, my goodness, you do have a lot of tomatoes. What do you do with all of them? And the New Jersey guy said, well, we eat what we can, and what we can't, we can. <laughs> and, and the Englishman said, oh, jolly good, jolly good. I'm going to remember that one. And so he went back home and was in his gentleman's club. And he was telling the men, he said, I have the best joke. I have the best joke. This gentleman in New Jersey, this farmer, he said to me, we, uh, I said to him, you have an abundance of tomatoes, what do you do with them? And he looked at me and he said, well, we eat all we're able to and what we can't, we tin. <laughs> you go to Walmart and you, or wherever, or wherever, yeah. wherever you go. You don't have to go to Walmart, no, you can go to Amazon. I'm yeah, sure. you can go to Amazon and you buy, uh, if you don't have a pressure canner, and I don't know, you know, unless you're like a really, really um, industrial strength canner, um, all you need is the jug bag. So you need the canner, a galvanized canner. It has a, a rack for you to put the jars on. And right now I have them, I have the, uh, the rack resting on the, um, on the rim of the canner. You need a pot of hot water because we are going to skin the tomatoes by dumping them in hot water for a minute and then plunging them into ice water. But you will see all that. You need a small pot with the lids in, because everything has to be hot, 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 and sterile. 180 degrees, and we're right at 180. If it's not exactly, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And in the oven, I have jars, ball jars, that I have washed and rinsed, put on a cookie sheet, and put in the oven at 200 degrees, because everything needs to be around 180. So I thought, well, 200 degrees, and we'll take them out one at a time, and fill them. And this is our little co-star. I didn't now, hear any of that, so yes. that is on video. <laughs> now also, you need a filler. We might need this. We might need this, because we're gonna, it, it keeps the jar lids clean. This is the jar lifter. And okay. this is a wand. It has a magnet on the end, and we use it. Do you really need that? Like all this Oh stuff yes, stuff you need it. Because okay. you're gonna be dipping it out of 180 degree water. And the idea is, not to touch anything with your fingers because everything has to be sterile and if it's not sterile you will get bacteria and bacteria causes botulism and you don't want that in your canned goods unless of course you have plans for someone that you don't necessarily like. We have um, plunged the tomatoes for about 90 seconds, a little bit more. These tomatoes are not really really ripe because my farm uh, had a bad tomato crop because of all the rain and uh, Florence's fault. Yes, it's all Florence's fault. All right, so now I take my tomatoes and I'm gonna plunge them into ice water because we want them to stop cooking. All right, so we let them go. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but see already, the skin is just, it's just falling right off. See that? So look at how easy. See how easy? You don't need, you just don't need anything. But you do have to take that little that little corey thing off. You don't want the, uh, the core on there. Yeah. So we're going to do this batch first and we'll put them in jars and then we'll start another one. So we're only going to do enough to fill the, look at this, look at this. I mean, you see how easy that is now? But we did have to leave them a little bit longer. So if your tomatoes are not really, really ripe, and they should be really, really ripe, but we're doing this more to show you how. This is a good thing to do on a rainy day, which today is because, uh, you know, you're not going to do anything else. How come mine so. never heals easy? I don't know, Jax. So I, karma I or something. I don't know. Bad. Yeah. Tomato <laughs> peeling karma. 
so maybe they're the top of the pot. And I say tomato. 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 Potato. Potato. Let's just keep on going. Yeah. Now, Jacqueline, it's time to go to the oven and we are going to get a jar. Now the jars have to be hot, so that's why I have the oven at 200. And uh, the other thing is, uh, if you don't want to do it in the oven, then you have to keep a pot of boiling water on the stove and keep the jars in there at 180 degrees. Much easier in the oven, as far as I'm concerned. Don't you agree? Sure, and if it bursts open, it's all inside there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the big thing is to be careful. I mean, you really have to be careful. Yeah, because you, you can't hurt yourself. Now I'm going to get a wooden spoon. That's now. You start dropping them in. Well, that's all? Yeah, you start dropping them in. And uh, because you're doing that, yeah, yeah, in their own juice, and we're going to fill it to within a half inch of the, uh, of the lid. Um, I'm going to I'm going to squish one of them so we get some juice. So be careful, though. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> when you have really, really ripe tomatoes, the juice, it just squishes out. We're having trouble because these are not the ripest of tomatoes. All right, so we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to squeeze the juice out of the tomatoes. So now we have room for a few more tomatoes. The ball jar book says two and a half to three pounds of tomatoes per jar, and that's just about what I put in originally. So now we have to um, go around the bottom. Now we go around the jar. I'm going to use a wooden spoon because it says a plastic thing. You have, want to make sure that there are no bubbles. So you just go down the side and make sure that there are no bubbles because bubbles are air and air traps bacteria. All right, now then, you cannot put the lid on when you have glop around the top. So I will get a damp cloth. It's not really a hot anymore. Paper towel. Yeah, it only has to be hot to start because you want to know that it's sterile. And you wipe all around See how messy it is? It's very, very messy. So be prepared. Then you take your little wand. Should have worn red today. Yeah. <laughs> so without touching, now without touching, you see, there we go. Nothing has been touched. It's okay if I touch the top. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> and then. All right. So all right, now we have the rings. The rings. And the rings, you're going to tighten. Just finger tight. Just finger tight. And then we are going to place it on the rack. And this rack is resting. So it's going to stay warm. It's going to stay warm. And then you have a chance to do the rest. Now we do one batch at a time because we have to, you can only process enough tomatoes to put in enough jars for one dunking or one processing thing. So you don't want to do all your tomatoes. I do one jar at a time. And then I'll go back, and besides, it kind of gives you a break. Now we're going to go and do more tomatoes, fill more jars, and when you come back, we will have the whole thing filled, and then I will show you the rest of the process. All right, so now Jacqueline and I have made our five quarts of, uh, of tomatoes, and um, we put our lemon juice in the bottom. And for most we, of them. For, yeah, when we, and if we forgot, we just stuck it in at any time. And, um, and then we got the air out, placed them on the rack. Now here we go. See, now I lift up the rack and down they go. Now it's at 180 right now. So we have to cover the jars within one inch to two inches over the lids. So I'm going to have to add some more water to this. I mean, it won't be at 180. Yeah. <laughs> well, when it comes back to a boil, we're going to start timing it at 45 minutes. And then we'll take them out. We let them sit for five minutes and then we will take them out of the pot. So we will see you in an hour. Welcome we, back. Welcome back. We have been processing our tomato jars for been 40, hard work. Very hard work. How much did you get read? Uh, what? Did you read? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> couple chapters. <laughs> Actually, oh, walking we'll baby, about. walking baby around. Yeah, it's all of it. Yeah, so we uh, processed for, five, for 45 minutes, turned off the gas, let the bottle sit for five minutes, and now we will take them out. There's water at the top, so be careful. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that move? That could be hot. That was a good move. 
Yeah, now, obviously, tomato now sauce. Now you use them just like you would any other tomato product. Uh, if you want to make spaghetti sauce, now you've got your raw tomatoes to make spaghetti. Well, not raw tomatoes, but you know what I mean. Raw in the sense of nothing added your to them. Your canned peeled tomatoes. Yes. Now you have a jar, which is better than a can anyway. Yeah. And there you go, you got a quart, a whole quart of tomatoes. And uh, now you let them sit for 12 to 24 hours to cool completely. And you might hear them go click, 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 because the bottom, the tops will cave in as the vacuum seal forms. Now what you have to do, and this is according to the ball book, you will, once there you have uh, overnighted them or 12 houred them, you will check to make sure that they are down and they will go concave. You will unscrew the lid and you will very gently try to pick the top off. If the top comes off, you have to redo the whole process. All right, chances are it will not. So now we're gonna leave them here and as they cool, they will probably hear, you'll hear them go pop, pop, pop. Then that means you did something right. That means you did something <laughs> right. But then wait until they're nice and cool, take off the lid, check them, make sure, otherwise. Oh, you take off the lid? You take off the ring. Oh. You take off the ring. To make um, sure it's Yeah, safe. to make sure that, that, the, uh, that the seal, that flat thing has, um, has sealed properly. So none of these have sealed yet, but they will as it cools down. So we'll see you next time when we'll be making something with our newly canned tomatoes. See you next time. We're here. Oh no. <laughs> and red light's on, is that good? Yes, that means we're recording. Okay, <laughs> we're recording. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>